Hello everyone, welcome to WTP uh, Splatoon 2, <laughs> at least for eSports, Splatoon 2 Academy League. Uh, I'm joined here by King Sulfur, Whoa! and we're going to be, we're going to be, today we're going to be seeing the match of Pufffish Party versus Deadlock. So Silver, what do you think of these two teams? I uh, def they're de they're both definitely like pretty decent. I mean like Deadlock like they they got like extremely good like they got a campy junior. That that's whenever you know you're a good junior. They got a campy junior. <laughs> but uh, yeah. but uh on Powerfish Party's side, I mean they <laughs> they got a, a pretty aggressive comp actually. Like, they they rarely pull a backliner. Um they only have not Nautilus for most of the time, but sometimes do pull a Jet Squatter. Interesting. By the way, just start the match while we talk about this. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Other way. <laughs> All right, nice, nice, nice. But yeah, I feel like you know these teams more than I do, but because I've only seen Deadlock play in NA Opens, and that's about it. I've never seen these teams anywhere else. Well, so, I, I, I actually scrimmed them last night, but... Didn't turn out too well for us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can you do? Sometimes you don't play your best ability, you know? Yeah, it was like 9 o'clock. We were all tired. <laughs> yeah. By the way, don't forget to change the little thing there. <laughs> yeah. The w yeah. Yeah. Weird. Well, again, if you're wondering why this is just a video, uh... Technical difficulties on the streaming side. Again, very Lots sorry about that. Yeah, but fortune technical difficulties, but what, have, what can you do about it, you know? I just realized that I'm still showing Outcast Ninjas and Team of Fighters on the Animal Yeah, that's desk. what I mentioned. Yikes. <laughs> it's week one, you know. It's, you know, week, it's week one. one. Like, say it's going to happen, you know. You know, at least it's happening for Academy. You know, Academy today was just kind of get everything set up and all that, you know, tomorrow, Pro League, going to be run get a lot in our better. Bearings. Next, yeah, yeah, next week, going to be a lot better in the week. We're just going to keep getting better and better, you know. Week one, it's exactly. always going to have a little bit of mistakes. And then we're going to get, and then, and then we're going to get accepted into MLG. Well, speaking of playing, <laughs> great segue, the match is starting. Nice. Uh, once again, TC Mako. We've seen these in this map all day. We've seen some pretty, honestly, snowballing matches here. So, looking at both these comps, the Dapples coming out of Puffish Party, uh, that's pretty interesting. Honestly, I haven't seen that weapon in a while. Running a, run, running a double ability comp is definitely risky. It could work. Yeah, definitely. CS definitely had, like the better uh, option. Like, CS is a very good weapon if you're running the meta. Uh, Dapples, of course, being more rare, but who knows? Maybe this Dapple shot something. Uh, so let's see what they do. Right now, Nathan actually pushing up with his junior. He, oh, he goes down to the CDS. Oh, but, uh, Deadlock. Moving. All going down. Deadlock is three down. The only one left is the Carbon right now. Cutter looking for him. Can't find him. Right now, Puffer's party not really pushing, even though I'm just yeah, yeah, really pushing now. Deadlock yeah, coming back in. Get a pick on a CJ. Definitely getting more map control now. But the CJ and the Zap do go down, but the Junior the Junior does go down for Deadlock, and so does the CPS. Wow. Heavy right now on his own around Tower. Definitely a back and forth game. Fusion AX here with the heavy gets a pick. I think on the Dapples there. He gets on. He's trying to get on tower. He gets on tower. Yes, we have on at the ready. Armor coming out from Deadlock right now. Fusion back up to the right side. So right now it's Deadlock trying to push in, but just you know, kind of staying around the tower, not really going all the way. All unfortunate the booyah bomb. Just hitting the booyah bomb there. Just hitting the tower center. Giving the opportunity for Puffer's party to push up. Here, the CPS the carbon does on right stack. And they're trying to push it forward desperately, but it does seem like two of them do go down. Puffer's party Carbon's. probably going to get map control now, especially with that junior going down. Carbon goes in, gets a pick. 
Alright, 2v2 right now. Actually, probably 1v2. Special's coming out from Foster's party. Definitely gonna hold them back. Kato right now here on the CDS. He's putting in the work. He goes and he's pushing that left. There's three down the side. Deadlock here. Finally, a push coming out of Foster's party. And two of them on the checkpoint. The second one's gonna go by pretty fast. And they also get the lead here. Still more. Than Popped armor from Deadlock here. And, and Death. three of Puffer's Party does all, and that's a wipe on Puffer's Party's end. Deadlock having three people up, definitely gonna get a lot of map control. Yeah, the fusion is on right now, Tatsu with Gang Rain here on the right side, keeping control. Throws the rain on the rain on the side, armor goes out as well for Deadlock. Dabbles the lead. Will he get that pick? He dabbles back up the right side. Tash is still fine there. Diving around. Two shots going at him. Popple's getting their pick on the CDS. But does Clapple's really popping off here? Really definitely. Definitely an obscure weapon, but if you played right, I mean it could be amazing. Again, just trying to get armor for his team. He has armor right now. Pop down for Perfect's party. Both sides now have armor. Dapples once again just going in. Dapples do go down to the junior though. Junior now in a one one with the CDS. Trying to get a double. Goes for the CJ instead. Ooh, what that was unfortunate pop. That that jump probably not gonna be the best. Oh, but the Clapples do survive Nathan. somehow, but Nathan in the end. Junior's not supposed to be a slayer. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, he's throwing us otherwise. He's right now, carving on tower, trying to get this point. Deadlock does take the lead. Tatsu throwing rain and pushing on the right side. 2 down now on Deadlock. 2v3 situation. 2v2 situation. Ray coming off the coverage point, but not against the tower. Clapples getting the flank kill. Yep, Dapples now rushing right. Pushing this guy. He's dropped on. Junior he's still, in that still hanging position. on. Nah, Junior not goes anymore. down finally. Pushing right, get picked off by the party. Nice pick by Halo. Splashed out, definitely not a great Maybe special. Another tool. pick. And Halo now having his time to shine. Maybe they taking all that spotlight. Unfortunate jump down by the jet. <laughs> oh. Another pick by Halo. Definitely Halo right now. Halo is just slaughtered from Halo. Right now, going for more picks. Oh, we missed with an adapt post. Just Nathan now alive. And Nathan gets a tower. Oh, he's still. He's still oh, right wow. There, just beats two people to finish the game. Deadlock just coming in, hitting hard, and just showing that they're strong. You know, wow. Nathan on that junior, though. I don't even play junior that aggressively. <laughs> I, I typically K feed a. as a junior, and I can't. <laughs> But 20, 20 kills. 10 armors. 10 Definitely armors. Really that is amazing. And not only did his job get any armors, but also was getting picks for his team. And eventually, at one point, we also saw Halo go on a kill streak there on the, the end of the game. Honestly, pretty just good stuff from Deadlock. Um, yeah. In front of that match, honestly, it was just. I don't know. There isn't much to it more than. Uh, as of right now, Perfect Spartan needs to find out how to deal with that aggressive junior and that aggressive carbon. As of right now, they're not really painting that much, trying to stop people. So it's kind of just letting the junior and the carbon get in. So they have to find a way to suppress the carbon, especially suppress that junior. And, yeah, you know, that, that... Nathan's good and all. Nathan's good and all, putting all of that work and getting stuff, but junior shouldn't be allowed to go that aggressive. Yeah, they definitely need to learn on definitely just kind of protecting their zapping jet because like it seemed like that junior just kept on going off on them like maybe the cds and the clapos just really need to stay back and protect their painters yeah definitely all right so once again we are going to the best map mode combination according to nintendo trigger fish on Rainmaker. Now, now, Perfish Party already showed they have a CJet player, so wouldn't be surprised if he stays that. Meanwhile, on the side of Deadlock, they seem to have a heavy player, so I'd expect him to go V-heavy here for that Stingray. Um, 
hopefully he knows because you know Stingray's really good on this map. Uh, other than that, uh, the Dapples on the side of Perfish Party might have a funner time here because Dapples, other than Sploosh, Dapples are probably the best main weapon. They get the pop on Rainmaker. It may be a little niche, but you know, you never know. It can honestly win you the game sometimes. So we have to see how that goes. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much it, honestly. Hopefully, the Wraith that Parfish Party has will definitely help them get this, help them with this map here. Yeah, definitely. All right, now we sit back and wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we gotta talk about something. We can't just sit here and talk about nothing. I know. So, gosh, why are you gonna I... make me commentate? Imagine. Ah <laughs> uh, well, you guys gotta do, man. Uh, I mean, I didn't know how to commentate here, but here I am, just coming up with stuff. But what do you, what do yeah. you mean? You've been amazing so far. I mean, I never did this before, but oh well, you know, it worked out. But, uh, honestly, Parfish Party definitely needs to be more coordinated to get, to, to get stuff done. Mm -hmm. well, so, now... Let's see these comps. So, we're... So, Parfish Party coming out with the Mini and the Charger and a new Squid Splash. Oh, Deathlock is running with Rainmaker left. They're just going. Yeah. Tetris do go down, though, on the side of uh, Deadlock. Oh, and that's a full wipe. Dang. They might actually get the, the win here. Yeah, it's not over yet, though. Ooh, the uh, Raymond can help. Uh, come out respawn. He's not pushing him yet because he wants to wait, but his teammates do go down. Just get through the Raymond, though. Maybe two. Uh, uh, and, and now's the turn to, for Puffer's party to return that wipe. They, if they Definitely just pushed that side, yeah. earlier, they could have gotten that. Definitely that was... a good start, though, for Deadlock. Uh, right now, Puffish Party just getting the range to reset. They have three specials on hand. Currently, Puffer here. Find the 1v1 in the street. Target does go down again for Puffish Party, though. Double team. Puffer right now fighting the team. Uh, I guess the people does get help from the team. They're going to pick that. Ooh. Gets the hammer pick. Good hammer pick. Definitely oh, the good picks, but, the right. but the Rainmaker. The Rainmaker is just running it. The Rainmaker is just running it. It's going for. Oh, Puffer gets just barely hitting that. Puffer coming back to a clutch there to finish that, but that was very unfortunate. Wipe <laughs> now. Delayed wipe on the side of Deadlock. Parfish party now it needs to get mid, needs to get control, and needs to try to push back here. They can't have them grabbing Rainmaker on the right side again and just getting that many points. Dapples, Dapples do go down though. <laughs> um, no one seems to be really getting any picks apart from Deadlock here. Yeah. It seems like they really aren't pairing as much as that as they could be. Ooh, only like Puffer is getting... alive. Yeah, Puffer is getting picks, like, as you can see there. Uh, also, it's just this thing, it's only working with them. They're not, they're not really working with those picks to be able to not really and make a push. Yeah. And just, again, Deadlock is grabbing Rainmaker and just more rushing the Pumpfish party. Deadlock is just playing Rainmaker, making Pumpfish party rush them and just getting picks off of it. Just to keep wiping them and Pumpfish party is really not getting anything done with this. Ray coming out of Puffish Party though might be able to get that pick on the Rainmaker. Oh, good evasion from Nathan. Down, and it's just now the splash, the splash goes down, and that's gonna be a delay wipe once again for Puffish Party. Nathan, that does seem like it's gonna be it. Oh, but the no, mini no. coming in last yes. second. Only the sploosh available. Only the sploosh now. Sploosh running it again. Oh, whoa! Oh, the oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wow! Good job to that sploosh. Deadlock right now. They're showing. They're showing that they need business. Honestly, you know, when I said earlier in that outcast we just said, when I said that they're need, hopefully we can see a team that can match that outcast we just, I think that team is right here. Deadlock just up 2 0 now. Amazing play by them. Just always. They started off the game strong with a really strong weapon, a really strong push. Then got another push that pushed him to six. Then just kept grabbing to get Puffish Party to push in and feed to them. And eventually, that just led to them getting that KO there with Halo doing some moves. Getting the KO. So, 
honestly, uh, right now, uh, what do you think Puffish Party needs to do to possibly get a game, or even just maybe who knows, get the reverse sweeps over? Definitely, just they need to work on pairing, because like I, I just noticed that like once like someone gets pi a pick, like the uh, the others just like aren't around to really capitalize on that pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Like, for example, sometimes I just see, yeah, you turn this example, there's a moment where Puffer got, like, a double and didn't really capitalize off that as there was other players on the map that were alone and they just got picked off. So I think Pufferfish Party really, really needs to understand, right, we see a person there, we push him, we kill him. All right, as a unit now, where do we move? Where do we go? Where do we, you know, push the Raymaker? Like, what do we do next? Because mm -hmm. if you coordinate that as a team, you will be as a unit, and you'll be able to get other picks, and you won't die single-handedly. Because that game was just a lot of going in alone. Like, sometimes there was just it's, some players... Like, especially the Clapples. Like, the Clapples just, like, even though they have the potential of flank, like, it just seems like like no one's really supporting from the other side to get get that pincer. Yeah. Clapples is definitely a weapon that needs paint to do things, and since, of course, again, they're playing really coordinating, there isn't a lot of paint for the Clapples to work with, and in general, there isn't a lot of paint in general for the rest of the team to work with, so Parfish Party, if they want to get these game wins, if they want to reverse sweep here, they're going to have to, especially on a map here, like, which is Sturgeon Shipyards, Flat Zones, they're going to have to push up as a unit, get control as a unit, and they're going to have to call out who they pick. Like, if they see a guy on that on his own, they have to call it out together, get that guy, and then focus on something new. Because if they have just one guy focusing on one thing, on that guy on the right, and he dies, then, you know, that's just a guy that's going to flank the other three while they have three ahead of them, and that's not an optimal situation. Mm -hmm. And also, I know the Clapples can even play Tetras, so, like, I'm surprised they aren't trying to switch it up. Well, uh, maybe maybe we might see that here on certain shipyards. So let's see now the comps from both teams. Splatoon certain shipyard deadlock up 2-0 against Parfish Party. Clapple still on the side of Parfish Party. It's like deadlock. We're seeing a Hydra coming out from Fusion AX. Definitely more of a passive aggressive comp from deadlock, but also seems like their Slayer hey, is okay. pretty going. S right now helping to get that pick into Tetris. Clapples do go down again. S here going to try and pay on zone. Two, two down with Deadlock though. This might be an opportunity to zone. And they. Oh, I get the nice pack. Pick. Getting that pick. <laughs> well, it does seem like my first party is moving on zone, but I. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. Fusion X having his armor to save him. That was definitely good armor for him there. Fusion X now trying to push that spinner. That could be a really threatening position, especially for that charger. Charger does He's... go down. It's only Clapples. I'm gonna be surprised Clapples if going Clapples. In for the clutch. The high does go down to Fusion X. Fusion X still on this top, on this snipe here. He's looking at a guy at left right now. Ted had to just go down. Oh wow, they get the Fusion X gets one pick. Charge just picking up. There's so. three down on Death Dark Sign. There's Clapples actually just kind of destroyed. Armor is now coming out from the charger of Puffer's party. They do get zone. Yay. Not a complete shot. <laughs> but alright. Yeah, the Clapples do go down though. Carmen just go down as well. So it's a 3v3 situation. Hydra and the Snipe. Hydra and um, Arthur having a 1v1 here. Not a good not jump in though. from that Clapples. Oh, yeah, that's a the wipe on the drop. side of a fish party. Fusion X now, nearly close to armor. Yeah, Splashdown is also on the side of Deadlock, as well as Bomber soon. Armor coming out of Fusion. Tats just go down, though. That's going to be a 3-4 situation. 3-3 situation now. Tats just go down to that side of a fish party. Fusion the Hydra barely escaping charge. this Charger. Charger's really focusing here. Can't seem to find the pick. It does seem Meanwhile, like they are moving forward. Gapple's going to be the one. Uh, he's kind of oh, he does get a pick! Oh, he's going for zone. Smart, he's going for zone. Two down on the side of Deadlock. Oh, the Hydra yes. remains. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, 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 oh the Hydra gets a double. Oh, the Tetra's barely holding on. 
getting a splashdown. Flash going for some Tatsu. Tatsu going for that charger. Tatsu has to pick on the charger. That's a really good pick. Two down inside of Buffer's party now. Fusion X coming back to spawn. Three down on the side of Deadlock. Once again, Deadlock just keeps getting control. Even when it seems like Buffer's party has control, Deadlock just seems to get one or two picks that puts it back in their favor. F Fusion definitely staying away from that charger, like just popping over every single shot that he tried to throw out. Yeah. Dap does go once again down instead of Perfect Party and Apple trying to make something happen. Oh. The Splashdown does get cancelled. Fusion Axe getting another pick as well. Fusion Axe on his Hydra is just a certain dominance, just holding his round. Hydra. And that might be it. I think so. That's it. And that right well. there, Deadlock takes week one against Perfect Party. 3 2 nothing. Just honestly, who knows? Maybe this might be saying to Outcast Ninjas, hey, we can 3 0 a team as well. We're coming for you next in the next couple of weeks. Get ready. Mm. Definitely so, a declaration. And then charge head forward. Well, I mean, you gotta charge head forward together. <laughs> and just gotta make sure to work on that pairing. And unfor definitely. Unfortunately though, um TTL did have to drop out this week, so you will not be recording uh TTL versus Clownfish, which is disappointing for both teams. <laughs> Yay, it's the greatest. Yeah. So goodbye, everyone, and see you next week.